Welcome everyone to the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships here at Griff's Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. We got quite a match here with Corey Duell and Skyler Woodward. This is George Teacher in the booth along with uh, Jeremy Jones. Jeremy, tell us about our players here. You know a lot about them. Well, we've seen them both on this table, but we haven't seen Corey yet on this table in the eight ball in tournament. Eight, right. So I'm very interested to see how he's attacking the break, seeing as how this is the fifth round on the winners. So he's obviously been successful, and he's had some de decisive wins so far, mm -hmm. a few of them. Um, but he's a guy that can break the balls a bunch of different ways, and, uh, and that's playing eight ball as well. He's got a very effective side rail break that you – Normally don't use as much on the big table, George. But mm -hmm. but if you know if it's working and and he does it probably as well as anybody, that being the second ball break, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it. But I kind of think he may break head on. Okay, uh, if he does use a second ball break, which we'll find out real quick, uh, he'll be with the first player. I, we saw a couple of attempts mm -hmm. by other players, but he'll be the first one on the well, TV here we table go. to go. He's going to the side rail. Yeah, right so. away, so we get to see it right here. But Corey makes the corner ball and the ball. Watch the 14 cross side. See it? Bam, cross side. Nice call. Yeah. Well, I've, I've watched there, Corey play a lot of eight ball. He just uh, made the eight ball on the break. It does not. It's not a winner. It's not a winner. It'll spot, and he'll have the choice. <laughs> CSI rules that it's not a winner on the break. Uh, also had... Now, what is what is the ruling if he scratches on the break there? I believe he's not a winner there either or a loser. Right? No, I don't think you can get penalized yeah, if you can, can't if win. If you can't win, you can't get penalized. Very similar to the one-pocket rules we play. Uh, if you make a ball on the break, you re-rack re them. And if you make a ball on the break and scratch, you re-rack them. Okay. Um, but they so. got a kick out of that. They got a little little laugh there, and they asked for the ruling. And, of course, the ruling is it goes back on the spot and fire away, dude. Yeah. Uh, does he have a choice? He might have a choice to re-break. No, he does, for he does, sure. Okay. And that's, that's what I was going to get at oh. at most levels, and especially this level being the highest level in the world as far as caliber of players. You rarely ever see him re choose the re-rack. Mm -hmm. um, if they make a ball on the break, even if there are some clusters and it's a difficult out, they'll usually uh, take it on rather than uh, re-break the balls and maybe dry, dry break or get yeah. a scratch, a kissed in on the break or something bad happening. Um, yeah. You can see he's kind of handcuffed, and he's got to take the stripes unless he wants to take on a long one ball. Um, probably and the 13. And, and the stripes, the only problem he has is the 10. And he can actually get to it right now by going to the 13, the yeah. 12, going over for the 10. The one thing about the 10 is you may want to leave it because you have to get long and straight on the 11, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the 10 saves you. Meaning, after you shoot the 11, you have something else to play off of. Gotcha. So I might leave the 10 for now just because of that one reason there. Um, and and, that, and anytime you're real limited with the cue ball, you know, you would like to think, well, maybe I leave the 11 to get on the 8, and that's okay too. But you just want to have another ball that you can shoot straight from stopping your ball on the 11. Well, the one thing about the 11, though, is look how small that window is. Well, you still got to get there. Um, so he's got a choice here. He's got a pocket on the 15 to where he can draw over. The 11 goes all the way up. So I would not be afraid of, of shooting the 12 right now and gaining short side on the 11. You can see that little area oh, to gotcha. roll between okay. the 8 and 11 right now. Because you got to play it from a tight position anyways. So having to shoot it all the way down the rail really isn't too much of an issue, right? I mean, it's not like it's not bad. <laughs> That's what he just looked at. Yeah, and then there's that 10 ball that he can play position on uh, right afterwards. No, it definitely see, goes. It be funny if he looked to see if it went by the 6, but he didn't pay attention to see if it went by the 1. <laughs> I've done it. He wouldn't be funny. I've he, done he it. looked at it. It's but, almost uh, like... Uh, it's not uh, going by. Yeah, he kind of eased it. Yeah. I thought he would shoot that a little bit more and give the I, slide effect, have the ball a chance to slide down the I rail. I didn't like that shooting it down the rail because of trying to hold the cue ball there. If he didn't have to try to hold the cue ball there, I would have liked the shot better. Uh, but to try to hold the cue ball in the same same shot for me was uh, more than I think I could handle. So, okay. But he's a pro, so makes a big difference. Well, we talked about, you know, Corey's a 
stays in shape, but he's a little older than what you might guess. Uh, if you didn't know him, he's 40 years old, I believe is what he it just is. just turned but, 40, I believe, yeah. But he's he's not a player that doesn't have a lot of eight ball experience. One thing I, I, I'm generally, you know, you can get out of sorts, of course, but I'm generally very convinced that Corey's going to play the patterns pretty well. Um, probably what you just saw may be something that comes up with Corey is an occasional miss uh, from a mm -hmm. position you you may not expect. Um but he, he connects them dots pretty well. And, mm -hmm. now, and he moves his cue ball well. Then, he, you know, he looks, he looks ahead, and he sees his, uh, you know, where he has to go. Okay, he wants to get that angle to where he can draw behind the, the three of hair and, and uh, be, have the cue ball off the rail as well. Now, you can always fall forward for the eight in the side, but you would probably rather come back for that eight in the lower right corner. And he Again. may come three rails around it, right? Like if you get to where you can't draw it, you can go three rails around. Well, he kind of got right in between here. He can just follow if he wants to, too, but he's drawing High inside, ball. right? Yeah. High inside. Exactly, yeah. Just, just straight. Just like the perfect. Yeah. And he'll steal Corey's break right off the bat. And a lot of Sky Woodward fans all over the country and, and Corey Duell as well. Yeah, he's making more all the time too. Oh yeah. His performance just and he's he's such a likable, likable guy. You know, you, you talk to him, he talks to everybody. I've noticed people taking pictures of him, everything. He's just really likable. You know, he can't yeah. do enough for you. Pleasant pleasant person. Pleasant kid. Uh, both players sponsored by Muchi, as you pointed out. Both very close in their Fargo rating. Uh, mm -hmm. Sky oh, nearing 800 at 791, and Duel just eight points behind 783. Um, you're going to see two differences in the break shot, that's for sure. You're not going to see Sky at all go to the second ball. He's been very effective in the, uh, breaking the balls. We saw that in the last match, and obviously to carry, carry on on the winner side, been effective the entire tournament most likely. Yeah, Sky's matches together. He had that bye, then you beat Brandon. Brandon shot. Oh, that three. kiss on the 14. Oh, that was a big one. Because there was nothing going down at all. And this is what we saw in the last match Sky played here. Is a tables that were runnable, both solids and stripes. Yeah, from his breaks, he just looked at nice spread on that. Um, like there to get isn't at a that, problem. I'd like to get at that three right now if I could. Um, that makes the solids just really, really easy. It sure looks like it's yeah. there, too. Yeah, it just, yeah, I mean, the stripes are very easy as well. But if you can get the cue ball to escape here, if you're if the high right English doesn't bother you, and the good thing is the five goes in both sides. So you could play the three to the five right now and then pick off mm -hmm. the four if you wanted. He went and put the inside, so he was pretty comfortable doing that. Well, we have four players left on the on the winner's side. These two, and uh, uh, two others. I'll have to check that. And see exactly who they are. I know we just had the match. Uh, Jung, uh, Jungling, Ch Chang. Chang, and uh, and Steyer. And they're facing off right now, I believe. Should be. Uh, yep. Yeah, because. Whoever goes on to lose that match uh, will have to play at 6 o'clock to try and get to the final six uh, for our final day here at Griff's. We're on day number five overall. We had three days of world-class 10-ball for the U.S. Open 10-ball championships with Marco Tutzer of New Zealand uh, winning that. And winning it in style, really. I mean, the kid played great. Yeah. He had some tough, tough matches that could have gone either way. Uh, one in particular, but then he uh, he came through when he had to with the shots that he had to to win it. Yeah, and you'll see Sky here playing the playing the six four and then the five. Five leads to the eight, very easy. And the eight does go by the fifteen, so he's going to make it very easy for him. And he actually got that little bit of angle to slide over just an inch mm -hmm. or two that just mm -hmm. really make helps on the five ball. Guarantee is going to the right place, not having to go around those two balls. Yeah, or not worried about getting elevated yeah. over over a ball and, or having to shoot the eight from a thin position. 
So immediately, uh, normally in this position, what we've seen as the days have gone and the matches have gone, it was a dry break. That wasn't the case for Corey in the first game. It was just a miss on a tough 11 ball down the rail. Well, he did get a little elevated. I thought he'd roll, he was trying to roll past that. So if you stay steady, pretty easy shot. And he stroked it, which uh, probably is better than just floating it. Yeah. Well, jacked up. Um, always you want to make sure you're trying to stay with a full stroke. It's hard well, to do. but We'll keep you abreast of the, the, the rest of the matches going on right now. We've got Torsten and Brandon Schuff in a one-loss side match. You have Jeffrey DeLuna and Alex Paguline in a one-loss side match. And then you have John Mora and Cheng Che Lu in a uh, one-loss side match. And then uh, Max and Dennis Ercolio. And I guess, um, oh, no, the uh, our 6 o'clock match will be Steyer and... Um, yeah, will yeah. be Steyer. <coughs> exactly. And, and one name we're missing Cheng. from those is Marco Tutzer. So the man that's in the lead for the all-around... Uh, we have here for the top two finishers in both events um, is out. So he'll be paying very much attention to that Okuyo match, who is right behind him in yeah, second place. In points, points-wise, sure. I mean, there's other guys, of course, that can fly by him with a win here. Um, but that's a little far forward to look at yeah. uh, right now. So, but the one he can pay attention to is the Dennis. Or anytime Dennis yeah. is playing from here on out. He's going to watch it real close. Now, Corey's uh, changing sides, even though he was very successful on the first break. It wasn't the break that got him. It was just a miss. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll see. the. That's weird here now. Well, he, even though there's a lot of congestion, they're all grouped together, which yeah. makes it runnable, meaning <laughs> the stripes are grouped together and the solids are all grouped together. There's a, there's a 14 and a 10 that are a little bit lonely up there, but I wouldn't go in a hurry here. I would inspect what which ones I really want to shoot. Looks like he's shooting that uh, seven ball right through everything. He well, wants to. I still, I mean, I know the stripes tell you no, but if there's a ball that leads you to the 14 very easily, um, the stripes are very runnable, and so are the solids. You just got to mm -hmm. pick the solids apart a little bit more. He's playing the 11. Looks. I can't tell what he's playing. He's playing that 7 the you seven were talking about, right? popping okay. the 14 to open. And, and that just opened everything. Yeah, that helped a lot. Uh, but still, though, you'll notice the 1 doesn't go, the 5 doesn't go. He's got to play a short side position of some sort, <laughs> maybe draw for the 2. Okay, that's a nice shot. All right, now draw into the, draw into the 4, bump it to the rail, I believe. Then you can, they can you knock off the 1. Um, probably play a little tidy position on the th three. Um, I think he's got to bump something here, doesn't he's he? He's gonna have to bump the four. I don't think it. I don't think it's harmful. I don't think the and the five goes also in the side. So yeah, I okay. didn't think he could bump it with oh, a that's, draw. That's good. That's that's even better because the four passes the three. So now he'll slide over for the four. He'll have the one after that and probably play the one and then the three to the eight, either one, because the eight either passes one. the 14. He can he can choose whether to shoot the one or the four first or the three. Well, probably the one or the four. Should be the four next Yep. because it does go. And I really kind of think he's going to leave the three last just because mm -hmm. you don't want to move the cue ball with a little traffic. Maybe you move it from, from the three to the one, but I yeah. think the one and leave the three last is pretty easy. like it. Yeah, you can leave that angle to come around the nine. You can leave the draw angle. Um, yeah, that's what he's looking at now. Do I want to play that position or do I want – I think the eight's easier to get on than the one is my point. So that's why from I would the say – Yeah, from the three. Right. But it, he may go the other way. That's fine. Kind of whatever he wants. And, and not only that, he can see everything a little better than we can. So mm -hmm. this tells me he's going to shoot the three to the one. Okay. Now he's got to do it one more time. May have to go around him. He may be able to get high inside. It's close. Now, this is where he needs to be very aware of getting elevated. 
Don't get elevated. Get as much on this as you can. There you go. Out in the open. And that's conceded. And I'm really shocked that Corey changed sides on that second ball break there, George. Uh, he made a couple balls on the first one. Mm -hmm. Well, the, you must have a reason for him that, you know, he was successful the yeah. first time. Maybe he just didn't like the way they broke. Well, I thought that maybe, but, I mean, if you're going to break second ball, you have to anticipate a few more clusters, correct? That's uh, what we discussed that's the that. That's the sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the sacrifice of making balls. For ball, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> and now breaking off in game four so he can really do some damage and put a lot of heat on 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 Corey. Well we have eight. We have twelve players left. All Ten of them playing now, two to play at 6 o'clock. Wow, he gets that ball up in the corner a lot, that one coming along rail, which is just like 10 ball. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a chance of going, and, and again, everything's a foot apart or so. So, He's made two, two stripes, uh, has a nice opening on either this 14 ball or the 10 ball. And the 14 looks awfully nice to shoot at for me, yep. especially if the sure. 13 and the 11 both go in that right side pocket. Sure. Not really any way to go wrong, I don't think. You just draw up the table. Isn't it nice when you break the balls and your opening shot is your problem ball? Yeah. And it's pretty much straight in? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it's a small problem at yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the 12 is the one he's got he's to make sure he's, he's getting on. and He should be okay there. There's enough room below the... Uh, below the one and six to fall. And mm -hmm. If he has the angle to do that now, he might. He may go by the five with a little English and get over there kind of nice and heavy. He's got, he's, yeah, he's got enough to do it if he wants. And it, I mean, you got to look at it, right? You got to entertain he doing can, that, he right? He can follow right up past yeah, the one ball. If yeah, you're right exactly. there where he's at. Right. He can follow right where he's at. Right, just a little high, high left English. And, and then use that 10 ball to come right past the five for the eight in the corner. Right. Or, yeah, or in between or two, the 6-3. Six, 6-3 yeah. three, yeah. six, three or, or two rails. for the yeah, six, okay. three. And he went in and played this way. That's okay. He's just got to have nice control coming here because you don't want to get super thin on this 12. And right. you can't get hooked, obviously. So yeah, That's one of the nice things about uh, commentating Sky's, uh, Sky's matches. He likes to point. He likes to visualize where he's going to go next. Sure. And he, Which at that uh -oh. same time indicates. And he he's better. in trouble. He wow. <laughs> How fast he moved. And I, Might he be able to bank this? Yeah, and that was that's yep. a real shocker. Uh, the way he hit it made me think he was trying to go into the six. He added no inside English, so he was just trying to use his touch. And that little adding the extension might have regrouped him enough to make him to where he's a little favored, I think, to make this bank. I mean, the kid could really bank the ball well. So if he had to get the guy down a shot immediately after a little frustration. Maybe, eh, didn't hit it how he wanted. And Corey Duell is going to have his first or his second opening. This is an alternate break format. And, of course, I think by now you guys have been with us long enough to know that in case there's any new viewers. CSI rules, as we discussed when uh, Corey made the eight ball on the break. 16 players were seated. Corey was seated 13th. Uh, Scatter was seated 8th with the higher Fargo. They were seated by Fargo. I believe all 16 players were up and above 771. Well, Corey's a little upset he didn't gain position on the 7 and the 4 there. He had to knock the 2 away, and now he's going to have to maneuver the cue ball on the what will be probably... Well, I'm surprised he'd play off the six. Uh, hmm. I thought he'd play more off the one uh, to just draw to that right side of the table, like get heavy on the six, stop your ball, mm -hmm. and then you got a real easy one rail across. Um, now he's got to really make sure he gets something on this. Yeah, that is that okay? I mean, I understand he's going to get a shot on the, on the four, but you don't want much angle, right? 
Is he, he, can he get all the way to straight I in? I don't know that he, he's going to come all the way to the rail to get straight in. Okay, so again, that camera angle that sometimes fools us, George. Sure, I don't know if he can go to. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, has to, he has to go to the rail there, and that's, okay, that's he's all right. right. Just got to draw his balls all. Well, it looks like he's stunning this mm -hmm. ball. Oh, no, he drew it. Okay, nice shot. Well, Corey's done what he can to uh, get the W here this game. Now has the break. He did win the lag, so. Yeah, he's only down a one break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not as that lead doesn't look as menacing as it might have if it if it would have been on his break. We've had a real nice tournament. He's got so smooth here at Griff's. Uh, there's good seating. There's good food. There's cold beverages. There's great people. Jeremy's here. Hmm. Vince is here. Yeah, I've, I've been. I mean, I've spent a lot of time in Griff's. So that's for sure. But mm -hmm. I've been thoroughly impressed with the staff and Mark and Gary and. Of course, everybody here with the technical side of the stream, but just the, it, they've been on top of it here. Uh, a lot of food orders, a lot of drink orders, and really. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people stop by to watch. And then oh, absolutely, seen, yeah. That kitchen's going pretty heavy. Yeah, and it starts early and it ends late. So. Okay, stayed on side that side. break, lost the cue ball. Yes, yeah, he stayed on that side, too, though, and I'm not sure he made another ball, did he? Uh, I believe he did make a ball. Three. He made two stripe, one stripe. Okay, he's got he's to gotta shoot the. Man, I, I think I really like just shooting the 10 and opening the 14, 13 and having the 12 there, right? Just draw right into those balls and open them up. And he's looking at solids. Yeah, but the solids are a bit more work. If the two goes by the 12, it's all done. It does. Yeah. Let's see. It's the only problem ball he has. Yeah, and I guess he'd shoot the six and draw back on that the right seven now. And then come up, yeah, and just take care of everything up on top there. Um, and maybe you take care of the three while you're there as sure. well. I uh, think that's yep. probably a good idea. No reason to be down on that side of the table. Yeah. Well, he got more out of that than he wanted. He's going for the three now, I guess. No, he's going to shoot the seven oh, and then okay. the two. Can't take a chance on a missable ball, I don't think. And no, I, well, I agree. That's why I said I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> I he, didn't like the three. He definitely wanted to draw back for the two right then, I think. And uh, so it kind of got out of his plan a little early. It might be now. He's good. And he'll hold for that three. With all the tools uh, that Sky really possesses, a guy that I could see if if he got to play more eight ball too, mm -hmm. that would really be one of the best at the game. Um, he probably come right back still, to right that area. Still, still plays still, it great, you sure. know. That's nothing like that. But I mean, you know, we don't have a ton of eight ball tournaments. And yeah, and he's not a specialist, is what you're well, saying. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and races to eight here in, the, in our format. Sometimes, you know, the way the guys break the balls, we don't really even get to see who are the great minds of the game of eight ball. But mm -hmm. but we do know of a lot of them. So. You know what's funny is we don't see any long matches in eight ball. Yeah, you know, unless see it's a, a specialty yeah, tournament. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think uh, a few years ago they had a couple of matches at uh, at the Rio where they had the Tiger Challenge. They had a couple of challenges where uh, Rodney played Francisco Bustamante. Uh, there was two or three challenges. Shane and somebody else had a big match. There was three of them, Torsten and somebody else. And I can't remember the specifics, but I think one of them was eight ball. And it was a match of like 15 or something like that. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it with it with the uh, BCAPL a mm -hmm. ball going on. Mm -hmm. He rolled in an angle to come around the, I thought around, around the, the 15, but he got a little steep now. I think he's going to come two rails back now. Sure. Right where he's coming from. Yeah. This is perfect. Got 
in a race to eight, this is pretty quickly. He dropped the chalk in the diamond table, and it came right out, and I just got chalk all over his hands. Well, I don't, I don't know how many pieces are in my table back home. But <laughs> I take that little light and look through the rack area. A few ro you can remote see controls with the kids. and you know, We haven't lost any car keys in there yet, though, so that's a good thing. <laughs> it's funny because you remind me, I think my one of my grandkids dropped something through the table, and I, I had to get it out. It was mm -hmm. tough to get out. Uh, forgot what it was now. I think I broke it getting it out. <laughs> yeah, well, I hate it when I lose a good piece of chalk. Yep. I know that. I'm well, like, it's a booger. Uh, Torsten's leading Brandon Schuff 2-1. to one. DeLuna and Alex Bagulain are tied at 1. John Mora over Lou 4-2. to two. And Max Everly tra trailing Dennis Ercolio 2-1. to one. Skyler to break the balls here. Leading four to one over Corey Duell. There goes the ball in the corner. 13 ball win in the corner. And he doesn't have a great starter on the stripes. He's got a 10 up in the corner that one he should make, but that little congestion up there is either way solids or stripes, you should be able to open it up. Um, We'll see. I'm probably going to lean towards solids just also because he's got to shoot the 10 off, right, if mm -hmm. he does take stripes. So how does he get to the 11 so easy? Maybe he goes right off the 10 to the 11? Okay, that's a possibility. He could probably draw the, 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 the ball underneath and shoot the 10 in the same pocket. You mean shoot the 11 in the 11, same pocket? Yeah, right, yeah, that's what I was saying. If he okay. shoots the 10, he's going to go right now to the 11. Yeah. And that's what I prefer if I feel real good about this one. If I feel real good about this shot right here, I go ahead and take stripes because the 12, you can get to the 14 and open that very mm -hmm. easily off of the 12. Just where he's looking there. Mm. And the key when you do that, though, is you, you really don't want to come into the 14. You want to come one rail into that, what is that, the 7, seven there? Ball. Yeah, and then you open up easily Shoot on the, the 14 nine. and you have the 9 after. So, I, I, I mean, you could do it either way. But you'd rather do it with a subtle speed and just catch that seven very heavy. Because you got the nine in the corner. You got both side pockets. You got the 14. All right, he went with a heavier speed. And it was so open, most likely nothing was going to go wrong. Now just fall forward and play the 14 down there. There you go. But I've seen shots like that where you open both balls and the cue ball drifts up and freezes on the nine, <laughs> even though that's your ball. I like the way he shot yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, well, he was further away. Sure. I thought he would get a little closer to the 12 from off that, uh, what was that, the 11, I guess he played off of? It was of. the 11. Yeah. Made quick work of the Shrack. Now a little stunner, and he's on the eight. And Look at that big number eight on that eight ball. Not losing very much time. We might have a, a fastest time record for the match here on the stream table. There's we been some fast ones. There I'll was only, you. what, 47 minutes, I believe. There was yeah, one. this one started just a couple minutes late, um, trying to figure out who we were going to put on this table mm. according to some, the, some results from the earlier round. But I'll tell you, with SVB, who finished fifth, six out of the tournament, Marco, who won the, the 10 ball out of the tournament here in the 8 ball. Man, both Corey and, and Skyler is sitting in a position to where they can make a run at that all around or at least a piece of it. Mm -hmm. You know, Skyler finished 5th, 6th, so if he wins this match here, he gets to the hot seat match, I believe. And that puts him in a nice position for the all around. He gets to play in the hot seat match? Uh, yeah, I believe if he wins this match, he plays the hot seat. Now Corey's gone to the head-on break, yep. and he's going to wonder, what the heck? Because now I broke dry on this one also. <laughs> wow. And it, it, it's funny because I was talking to Max after the last match that we just had on the stream, and he didn't feel it was a break to let him down. And I pulled out the score pad and said, look, you lost this break, this break, and this break because of the break. Work on your break. <laughs> well, I... 
I understand both ways, and yeah. he was frustrated because he had a couple open ones that he didn't capitalize on him. And kind of when you don't do that, you can say, well, I dry, dry broke last game anyway, next game anyways. But you kind of feel like if you had gotten out, well, the pool gods wouldn't have allowed you to, to break oh, okay, dryer. You okay. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's going to be more frustrating than the dry break is you not taking advantage of sure. some openings. Okay. No, he, 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 yeah. he wanted to hit the four, not the eight. He wanted to go ahead and get a, this 13 out of the way. And not only that, he's going to have to shoot the 10 from a little elevated. So a little little well, alter in the plan here. The good thing is that the 13 is in a place where it's easy to get to. It's pretty open. Only one ball will block him. Uh, but the problem here is going to be the 11 right now. He's going to get it right now. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And good call there, George, as far as 13 shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You can see all that open space. Make sure you get an angle here. I He's like him drawing yeah. into that ball to make sure he guaranteed the angle and no snooker. Because one thing that also that gets you an eight ball way more than um, rotation is getting jacked up over balls. Yeah, exactly. You, you kind of forget to think about that a lot of times when you're playing. And, and ten ball, you, you're usually mm -hmm. only staying away from one ball with the cue ball. Mm -hmm. um, so it's easier to to stay away from getting elevated. He's See. just got to pull this down the rail, right? Yeah, just real yeah. close. He, just a put nine ball even, shot. Not even, there you go. Yeah, That's just it. pull it down, pull it on down there. And now he can choose to go, it should go two rails past the four. Yeah, between just, the four and the seven. Just creep it past the four, mm -hmm. right? Or he might choose to, you know, come around it, but I'm pretty sure he'll. Oh, he's go sliding up for the side rail first. Oh, wow. He says, I'm eliminating any chances. Well, the one good thing about that, though, or thing about that shot, is you better have. Uh, Corey conceded that, so he didn't bother shooting the eight ball. You better have pretty good control with the speed. Uh, a little thin on that rail first hit, you end up on the end rail shooting that. And, eight. and you're very right. A lot of times you shoot that rail first shot, and the speed gets away from you. Yeah. You just don't understand how thin you're hitting it, and and then. You, it just gets away. Especially so that one off the bottom rail. Mm -hmm. The one off the side rail when you shoot rail first, well, you're going into another side rail pretty quick mm -hmm. that you can gauge the speed. But just coming off that end rail speed and, and, float, and, yeah, and yeah. floating really into position, it's not easy. So Yeah. Now that, uh, I mean, he knew what he was doing with that all the time. But I, as much as you sit there and you're sure you're going to go two rails between those balls, it just seems that sometimes up jumps the devil and you find yourself behind a ball you're crossing. crossing Absolutely. Crossing by. So you try not to go behind balls. Well, it's a 13. Nope. A dry break here now. I know it's 6-1, to one, but got to get in that 8-ball mode again. Just see what happens. Well, here's Corey. He's had a couple of misses. Yeah. And uh, three dry uh, One, two, three dry breaks. Well, yeah, the three. first one he made a ball and missed. Second one, I and believe he, he made a ball. No, he, no, he, he dry, changed he sides and then, break. He, and then the third one he scratched in the That's side right. from that same side. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one, he uh, he broke from the end rail and had a dry break. Just that was the last game when Sky ran out. So I like solids just because of the eight ball. I know the five's a little down there by itself, but easy to get to again. Open area on the on the top side of the table there. Okay, did he hold that angle? Yeah. I think he did. For the four or the seven, either one. Yeah, but to go down for the five, I mean, right oh, now. Right now? I think so. I think that's what he was trying. Now coming back for the four or the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, just lay underneath the two or get on top and then come a couple rails out to the center for the four mm -hmm. in the upper right corner, I think. Dead center of the table wins him the match Yep. after the next shot. Just lay the cue ball on the rail probably. Yep. Now he's coming across his line, but it's a high percentage land, I guess you might call it. Yeah, you just make it spread a mm -hmm. little bit. Sacrifice an extra six or eight inches away from the four. He's perfect. A nice clean run to get back on the board. Uh, it's been a minute. 
He will be breaking, though. No. Uh, yes, he will. That's right. Corey won the lag. And is on top here, so 2-6 with the break. Three. Still uh, still down by a few. He still needs uh, Skyler to let him back up to the table at least once, possibly twice. Three, four. Yeah, twice. I'm trying to just think in my head from who's left. Of course, Thorsten Holman, a big one to look at also mm -hmm. for the all around with a fourth place finish, I believe, in the 10 ball. Is that right? He Third did or have fourth? a fourth place. Yeah. Yeah, the, the finish yeah right with here. Jeffrey DeLuna finishing third, who. I believe is still in it. Yeah, he's, he's still playing. In, he's playing right his now. His fellow countryman, Ag Alex Pagaline, and trailing two to one against Alex. But there's some all-around interest going on. That's for sure. And it's it's not a bad paycheck. First place, thirty-five hundred, and an entry into the Predator World Ten Ball. Well, give uh, it an idea. Fifteen hundred for second. Mm -hmm. Give you an idea of what the points are. Skyler has two hundred and eighty-eight for his fifth, sixth finish, as does Shane. But Shane is out of the tournament now. He just lost to Brandon Schaff. And DeLuna has 360 points. Torsten has 324. Dennis, of course, has 390. So, that, like you said, that's who Marco's watching real close. Yeah, him and Thorsten and Jeffrey, right, as of right now, that's who Marco's paying the most attention to. Unfortunately, uh, it's out of his hands. Yes, it is. That's whatever they do can change it, but he's done his part and gotten 390 points plus um, I believe he finished in the top 16. Who's so that? It was points Marco. Oh, he got more than that, yeah, didn't he? he? For like the, he got 432, I believe, for winning, yes. right? 432? Mm-hmm. And um, so, got to figure out what many, how many points he got for his finish here in the eight ball. Yeah, and only a 40-point yeah. difference uh, between him and 42 point different between him and Dennis and Dennis is still in the event and let's see is he winning he's leading three to two over Max Everly so well he might Marco may be a I don't want to call him a shoe in but he may have a good chance at the second place for sure might and possibly first but you know he might um, I think first place is a hard thing for him to get at yes. especially if Skyler goes on to win this match because oh, Skyler is he got fifth six so he's what is he some 150 points behind, so yeah, he'll. Scatter was 288. He's 112, 144 yeah. points behind. So, I think as it lays right now, I he's got some work on this 11 ball. If it doesn't, it, it goes. So there's yeah. no work to be done. It's done. Uh, you want to move the five away. You don't want to get elevated on this 10. Okay, nice shot there. Just one out, one rail out to a couple of them that you have a choice. Probably get on, get on the eleven here. Nice shot. And a comeback's got to start somewhere. I mean, it's not a you know, playing an alternate break with great players. You can get down on yourself at a six-two score. Well, he's down 6-2, but like I said, a comeback, he's really down one, uh, a break and a half, you might call it. Uh, he needs a mistake from Sky. For instance, let's get, Sky breaks dry here, um, and Corey gets out, then wins his next game. We're looking at 6-5 already. Yeah. But, and uh, Corey has the break, so uh, he needs two mistakes from Sky. Yeah, he's down two of those service breaks right. like tennis. Um, now he got a dry break for the first time in, in Skyler's last attempt, uh, which helped Corey a lot. Got it to where he can win two games in a row. But he can't afford a 2-1 exchange. That'll fall, make him fall a little short of, of the finish line mm -hmm. here in this match. He's, he's going to need another couple in a row, maybe three in a row at some time. 
And in case we haven't spoke of it, the prize money is 10000 for first, 6500 for second, 3800 for third. Oh, a scratch on the break now. Uh-oh. And there's, well, there's. And the stripes look pretty nice. Very nice. I mean, this, you could do the solids with ball in hand as well. Um, but timeout. Corey's We're taking time the timeout. Yeah. And the Prince of Pool has returned. He'll pick up the cue ball and try to make the best of Skyler's, Skyler's uh, mistake. Yeah, wait. He's got a 13. He could shoot away and bump the 12 if he wants. I'd be a little careful doing that. Um, I don't mind not bumping a thing here myself, but um, definitely going to take stripes, though. No sure. reason to try and deal with that 7-5 up the, up the table. The 1-3 is limited to the corners, nothing mm -hmm. in the side there, and they're sitting in front of the side pocket. All right, play for the 11 here, or the 9. Let the 9 ball lead him. No, he's going for the 11. 13. <laughs> well, that, that, that camera angle gets you. It when does. It's, when, it's it's just, it's when you can just see the top of the stripe, yes. it gets you. Yeah, yeah, it looks red to me. Uh, I see the 11 down there on the bottom now. I do that a lot uh, with the with the 5 and the and the 3 a lot mm -hmm. of times. But Yeah, it's a camera angle that uh, you can't blame the camera. You just got to blame... Blame yourself. And so it'll be the may slide down for the 11 in the side here. It just depends on if he wants. Yeah, that's fine. And then you play from the 15 back up to those 12 and 9 to end the rack with the 8. Corey real solid with his pattern play usually. Pretty sure he's going to the 12 next and just kind of moving over uh, for the 9 and the 8 in the side. Very clean. Look how perfect that cue ball is so he can stay out, get off the rail and get the angle he wants for the nine to go to the eight. Yeah, he'll cheat the pocket just a little. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now just go forward a little and whoop de doo it's his break. And with a good break and another run out like that, a lot of pressure. Be trailing by one game. Putting pressure, I mean, that's 
waiting for his opportunity, and he got one there with a scratch mm -hmm. on the break. I believe it was a dry break anyways, but ball in hand always helps. Got a few developing out there. Home and over, shove still three to two. DeLuna trails Pagaline one to two, a slow one a little bit to start there. More a five three over Lou. And Arcuyo four to two over Max Everly. John Moore being a little bit on the uh, spy side out there, underdog side, just creeping his way through the one loss side. Oh, well, uh, you know, playing the opposite hand is impressive sure. every time you see it. And mentioned, though, he's from Canada, so definitely has the eight ball pedigree, you might mm -hmm. think. Uh, the Canadians, they play a lot of eight ball. Getting back to those points, Marco is in a good place by winning that uh, tournament. But uh, Skyler's in a good place, too, right here. Because he expects to finish high. This is a winner's side match. There's only one other coming up at 6 o'clock tonight that's winner's side, and that's uh, Tyler Steyer and Tun Ling Chang. Well, he's made four on the break. He's got a nice shot on a solid, and solids are pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to worry about that 14 way up the table, and really it's the easiest starter he has anyways. The one's very playable, both corners. I think it goes by the 15 as well, but it's very cuttable. Um, you think he draws up for those two balls right I, now? I, I'm thinking he should. I, I like it. I like him doing that because otherwise if he holds for the one, and, and did he get up far enough? You yes, see, um, he, he got could have gone a little further. Yeah. Uh, there's no scratch if he runs off the two, is there? I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> he's going to go into the two. That's there what I would have been worried about right there is the straight on the two. That's the one that would have bothered, bothered me more than the. That's why on the first. I mean, you still got to shoot it, right? You yeah. still got to shoot the six and, and deal with the two, but. Getting straight on that is funny because you don't want to be thin on the three. Not super thin. Then you got to run the cue ball quite a ways back and forth probably. You may take a chance on shooting the three right now. Um, it's a little easier position from the three to the two than it is from the three to the one. So shoot that right now. Try and get on the two with a little angle. Then you come across for the one somehow, whether depending on what corner it is. Great call. Yeah. Now his speed has to be really tight here. Well, I think though it might go on by the 15 in the other corner. Though. Oh, okay. So maybe. I'm not saying he's going to play it that way, but. Well, he's going to have a hard time holding it on that side. He'll have, he'll have to go three rails probably. Yeah. So I he'll play for the cut on the one. Right? Like this? Uh, yeah. He's going to go too far. Yeah, that's too far. Yeah, that right. was, that's a, the speed well, maybe is not. very important. I'm surprised he it. didn't draw it more and, and broaden the angle a little bit and just cut the one from a little greater distance. Uh, mm -hmm. It came kind of tight right there, uh, back and forth. And I think he can soft spin this and take a long shot on the eight, but not something he's wanting to do. He's going to have to come with something. I, uh, you'd rather soft spin it than banking it up to the corner? Oh, yeah, it sits pretty close to a kiss banking it. Yeah, I'd rather okay. curve this ball here. And I think it's a – he's looking at two rails maybe. Looks like the one railer is a kiss to me. Okay. I think he's got to curve it and take the shot on the eight. I think that's your best chance to maybe steal the game anyways. Well, he wants to take your advice. Something's keeping him from it. Well, if it's a heavy curve, he's got a chance of getting behind the 12 with the cue ball. If it's just a real mild curve, I think the cue ball will still go forward enough to have a shot on the 8. Mm -hmm. But if I know, oh, it's a pretty heavy curve. So if I think i got to curve it enough and I'm definitely going to be behind the 12, I might try and play something else. Mm 
no reason to curve it, something that you're pretty sure you're going to get snookered for, right? He's too relling it. Got to hit it with a lot of speed to tighten it up. What wow, a, what a shot. Cool. Huh. That will definitely make the highlight reel. Man, oh, man. <laughs> wow. Could he have gotten any better position, though? No. That's, that has to be one of the best shots we've seen so far. A little two-reller field yeah. goal between the 8 and 11 yep. at a, about 60 miles an hour. Yeah, the posts were only about seven, eight inches apart. He put the, you split the wicket. And oh, they do right it, it. Yeah. Australian <laughs> That's or right. rugby or whatever. The, the <laughs> referee the stand up, up there yeah. and they yep. put the hands the up hands with the, up the karate the chop yeah. kind of action. What a great shot. Now, with momentum like this, if think of the pressure this puts on Sky. Especially oh, yeah. after that out. Yeah, we had a scratch on the yeah. break and a dry break his last two. So from six to one, if any anybody's feeling the pressure between these two guys, you would have to bet it's Sky Woodward. Mm -hmm. But he'll he'll step up here just like cool hand Luke that he is. Well, one thing that bodes well is it hasn't come off of mistakes. It's just mm -hmm. come off of, uh, you know, the scratch yeah. on the break's a mistake, of course, but the dry break's not one you can really anticipate okay i don't see anything down yet 10 ball no nope. no four ball 13 Good ball no. nada now if this 13 goes he probably opens well the 12 ball still tight yeah it's still though i think he's got to do it anyways yeah. and take the cut on the 12 because you got to you got to be able to get position on an eight ball as well well if if it throws it oh he's going to he, gonna he might open the 12 with the cut. 4 right here sure i was i was thinking if if it threw in he might open the the 12 with the uh, with the 4 with right the cue ball yeah oh cutting it yeah cutting it oh okay if, but i think the i think it catches the point and doesn't go in i'm not sure yeah he's trying to naturally chop this forward back as much as possible so he can open maybe but the the dilemma is What's the cue ball going to do? Because if he cuts the four a lot, the cue ball is going to have a lot of speed. So watch out for a bunch of kisses or something. Look at this. Yeah, nice opened shot. it up. Nice shot. And, and he there ran, you go. Ran the cue ball nice with English as well. Now this so let's see here. I might fall on the 12 now off of the 15, right? Just come one row in between the 4 and 12? No? Might as well. Yeah, it's I like natural, it. and you take care of the only problem. Uh, that 14 by the 3 goes if you want to get position on that, or you it goes in both corners. Probably come out to start to deal with the 11 and the 10 a little bit now. You might save that 14 for last and shoot that and get on the 8. Maybe, or one but of the balls on yeah. the side. So They both lead to either corner. He's got a lot of choices, I'll tell you. Yeah. Having those balls in the middle of the table in front of pockets really helps. Yeah, so it'll be 11, 9, 14, 10 probably. Yeah. Something like that. And that's I liked him coming across and trying to get on the 11 then because I think that's the only thing that really could po pose an, a problem. I think that's the right way to play it. I mean, you could play 11, 10, 9, 14, and 8, but I think the easiest cue ball movement is probably 11, 9, 14, 10, 8. Yeah. Well, either way, he's go. going to have to draw out for the 10, from the 10. So I'd rather do it on the 8 than do it on the 14. Yeah, because you only got to draw three sure. inches, exactly. four inches. Exactly. You just have to stun out, and then you're good. And the stop shot here gets you what you want, and you just get away from the rail is all you have to do. And you're straight in on the on the 8. And all of a sudden, that what was that, 6-3, 6-2? Six the one. It was six one. And look, we're about to be tied. How fast he got well. Oh yeah. And and breaking the balls. Mm -hmm. It's five games in a row for Corey Duell. The Prince of Pool put his crown back on. Right back in this match, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Actually, he's got a little bit of advantage in this match now. No mistakes by both players. Uh, that lag plays so big now. 
Homan over Schaff. No, I'm sorry, Homan and Schaff are tied. DeLuna trailing Peggy Lyon, 1-4. Uh, Mora leading Lou, 6-3. Eberly tra trailing Orcolo, 3-4. Corey's showing that creative mind, that opening combination on the 413, and use the use the the four to <laughs> move the cannon eight. <laughs> over and, <laughs> and carry you called into it. Balls, you called yeah. it. You said that four wall might move this, might open that up, and it sure did. Yeah, the, I like the shot, and he actually controlled the cue ball with top inside, like a draw inside, or mm -hmm. to really make sure it wasn't like going back and forth towards some type of corner or side pocket. So very aware and. Very motivated all of a sudden at 6'6". Six, six. He got one down. Big Does cluster he in the get middle. A shot? Okay. That well, almost looks like no, a one No, look at the solids. The 6'3 is playable. The 5 he's got in the corner. The 8 goes. So he doesn't really have to deal. When he shoots the 6'3, the, the 6 is going to fall away from the trouble. So I really think if he buries this 5 ball, he's going to get out. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the 6-3 is not hard at all. The 8 goes. Yeah, he shoots, buries the 5, like you said, comes up for the 1, slides over for the 7, and he can do whatever he needs to do. Yeah, and I might try to hold for that combination right now. I'm, I'd love to shoot it right now and let the 6 fall away and then and not wait on that at all. Okay, he can still get to it. He got a little thin on the 1, but. If he likes the combo, he can go for it right after this shot. Well, I no, hope he's, he, going, he's going the other route, it looks like. Yeah, I hope he realizes that he doesn't have to open anything, and I'm sure he does. I'm sure he realizes the 6-3 is playable. And I'm, you know, a little shocked he didn't elevate a hair right there because he didn't have to dig on the cue ball much to hold for the 6-3. He just had to kind of stop his ball. I just hate to leave it last, that mm -hmm. 6, you know. Mm -hmm. But he will. I think he will. No, nah, he's going to leave the one last. He's going to shoot the four, the seven. Then that will fall on the nice angle to get on the 6-3. Yeah, exactly, to where he can get the six after the 6-3 also. Just stay above it a little bit, right? And he doesn't want to disturb the 11-12. Is he going for the one now? Man, I don't like leaving all that last. I like getting at the seven now. Yeah, I think he's got to, right? Because the one really offers nice position to the eight. And he gave himself a, a an angle that well he's okay. No, you got to leave the one last, unless he uh, he, he didn't get he, dead straight on this seven, did? He? If he got dead straight like on this he seven, uh, he's gonna have to kind of shove the cue ball to the side a little bit. In fact, it looks like that angle it might come into that eleven. Can't tell. It's real tight. He moved it a little bit too far. Well, I'm, I'm really surprised he wanted to take the one away, anyways. Seemed like to me the four is the one that led the perfect position to the side of the seven you need. Mm -hmm. The one he just shot off. Well, I think this, the rest of this rack depends on this shot right here yeah. and where he ends up with the cue ball. Well, oh, he, wow. he's shooting this ball. Wow, that means he's going into the 11. Yeah, I didn't understand. Uh, hmm. Well, now he's now he's in trouble. He's going to need a little bit of help. Um, now he could play off of the seven and try and come one rail and just pin him on the back of the six. Um, he can't go into the six. No, because no. if he could do that, he could make it. I was going to say yeah. he can't go into the six and just Feather draw, it. F uh, stop it between the 11 uh, three. No. no, he doesn't have. The, he's up against. I think the he's got to shoot that. Yeah. It's like a one pocket shot. You, oh, he's looking at what you were talking about. If he can get to the six ball uh, on the right side, it wouldn't be a bad shot. I wonder if he's looking at this kick on the six three combo, thinking that if he misses it, he may not leave a shot as well. Like he may leave the cue ball up, and uh, I, I, I got it. Oh, he's cutting it. Okay, he's cutting it. Oh, wow. Or at least he called it. Because if he can see the six ball, he can just stop the cue no, ball. No, he there. can't see the good. six. He can't? Yeah. Okay. So now we're done with that. He's going to use the cue ball to get between there. Wow, what a shot. Wow. Perfect. Wow. And had the safety. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, he's got more work on the eight than he would have a minute ago, but boy, he's sure got to be happy. And sure, that's two saves in a row. Yeah. Two railers saved the first one, and this shot here saved this one. Look at this. Yeah. And really suspect on that one ball going into the ball so late in the rack. Well, I think he just came he came he's off got that to rail where he had too to, much huh? from the seven, and he had to do <clears throat> what he tried. It was a funny angle on the seven. He couldn't couldn't get to where he wanted to go. Yeah. Well, John Moore Which up might seven be to here three too. on Lou. Follow this and play it in the corner or the side. Yeah. He must be falling towards the end rail. A hair. A hair. Yeah. So all he really can do is just fall forward. Pretty nice there. Mm -hmm. He can level out. It's definitely how Corey wants to shoot it. Still a shot, though. There it is. And guess who's on the hill after trailing 6 1? Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? We've seen some comebacks. That's the best comeback we, I've seen. to get on the hill first from 6-1. We've seen some good ones, but that one is uh, key. And it'll play big. Now Skyler needs a little, he's got to hold his own and then the mistake from uh, Corey. Or Corey looked awful strong these last three racks. He was a great eight ball player. Uh, I mean, he plays great on the big table, but you know how much congestion there is on a seven footer. You ought to see him deal with that. He's really impressive. Of course, yeah. that's that creative mind that Corey has become so known for. And that cue ball that he, that he just maneuvers so well. And he is extremely creative. Well, you know, look at, look at him when he plays one pocket. Look at him when he plays, uh, he's a good straight pool player. Uh, we're leaning towards with that break, a hill hill match. Um, again, a break that leans towards he could shoot the solids or the stripes. He's got a six ball and a five ball that are kind of a little bit lonely, uh, meaning one on the top rail, one on the bottom rail that Nothing really leads to it that well. The two ball does, and these balls in the sides, you can certainly get at the five or the six, but mm -hmm. just right offhand, it's it's not great. And the reason why he's looking at the solids is the 9-11, but the 9-11 are okay. You can get behind the 11 pretty easy and still have a couple apples there, that being the 12 and 14, to help you out. You know, you said something about a hill-hill match here. We've only had one in eight ball on the stream table. Right. And that was uh, Torsten and... James Aranas. Yeah, James, who lost a hill hill match in the 10 ball to open. And, um, yeah. To he's, he's, James has been one of the most steady players around the last <laughs> couple of years. You kind of like, man, he, what is he getting unlucky or what's going on in these tournaments here? Because he's a guy that's just been uh, a constant paycheck if and you've been keeping sure, up with any billiard sure. news the last 18 sure. months around the U.S. Yeah, Roy, Roy Baseman appreciates him. Well, he's a good kid. He's I mean, a great uh, kid, yeah. Very respectful, yeah. very, uh, you know, he's a little quieter than some of the some of the, the, the younger ones we have coming up today. But, man, what a player. All the way up for the five? Yeah. Or does he just stay for the seven and then go up for the five? I'd like to use the, the seven as long as I can no, get for You want this second rail bounce, though, and then you play the seven in the side. Kind of leads mm -hmm. toward the eight a little easier. But either way, actually, there, George, because that ball out in the middle of the space can get a little funny. Just like if he ends up short here or and gets a little thin. Yeah, or, yeah exactly. Uh, he he yeah. may be crashing into balls with the cue ball. I like him coming to this side that he just looked at. Drawing it? Well, yeah, because if he gets thin, well, he's, how clear is that side of the table? Like if he end up short there, well, he can go by this side of the eight very easily. If he ended up thin on the other side, well, he's going to be running into balls. 
And this is going to be Hill Hill. And a quick Hill Hill as well. What a match. Skyler started off with three games. Then uh, Corey actually stole one on, off of his break. Came back with three more. And then Corey rips off six games in a row to get on the hill. And Skyler gets one back. One of those matches that, you know, we've seen a lead just hold up for the most part. But it does happen. These comebacks in this alternate break format. Don't see it as much in the eight ball, huh? Because mm -hmm. no, it's hard to haven't. break and not get a shot if you're making balls. You know, and, and what all, the other thing that's surprising to me is some of the, I think from what we saw playing eight ball on the stream table, Aranas and Steyer had the best breaks. Oh, yeah. And Steyer is still on the winner's side. And James is gone. I believe he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's out. That's what I was saying. It's kind of strange having him out of these two events mm -hmm. somewhat early. You Very know, early. Yeah, and the just because ball. he's been so steady uh, in every tournament he plays in. Not always winning. It's hard to always win. But, man, he's been, you know, top six, you would think, and just almost, uh, almost everything he's played in. So Hill Hill here, and Corey has varied the break many times during this match. Watch for the 13 cross side. That's the one he tries to make a lot. I know it sounds crazy. You're mm -hmm. trying to, you're Especially trying to make one coming out of the rack that banks. <laughs> but he's in, he's in a good spot here. You got to look at stripes, of course, just because of that six. Uh, that's the main thing. And yeah, he's okay. He's all right. He's taking his time here because he wants to follow through on this run. Oh, this can get funny real quick, though. And so, But I still think I'm looking at the solids, like if there's some guaranteed way to get at that six with no problems along with the five. You don't want to leave. If you go get the six, you don't want to leave the five there by itself. So you want to you get them both while you're down there. Um, but the stripes can get a little funny quickly as well. Because say he shoots the 15 here. Well, he's got to roll just gently by the 12 to have the 10 to be able to kill the ball for the 14. Um, so we'll see. I just wonder if that six ball passes the 15 for the side pocket where oh. the three ball is. Well, that would be very, very important if it does. And that may lead him into solids if it does. Mm -hmm. So but he's got to get rid of the three yeah. much prior. Okay, so what he's thinking, I think, is he's going he's gonna to go ahead and uh, move the 10. When he shoots the 5, he either moves the 10 or comes into the 6 with the cue ball like mm -hmm. draw. Um, that's how he's going to open the 6, most likely, with the 10. So just get on the bottom rail or somewhere near it, and you're either, depending on where you fall, oh, that's too much. Okay, now he's got to stun into the 10, so that makes it a little bit... Uh, like you might not move it exactly, mm -hmm. but sometimes when you stun it, you'll you'll just miss your mark a hair, and you'll just thin the ten ball, and it actually won't get out of the way. And he put all his he put all his uh, all, all, all his cards in one basket. What's yeah, that? I'm trying. Yeah. Balls, eggs. All his eggs in one basket there, and, and well, didn't get on didn't get the angle he really wanted. I think he's okay. He'll still go on the ten. See, that's what I mean, though. You, when yeah. you have to stun it, you don't have near as much power. And if you miss your mark, you can barely thin the ball and it really not get out of the way. And now he's, now he's gotten to where he's got a tough shot to recover just to keep the run going. Mm -hmm. And that was, if you were going to play it that way, you had to be you know, dead nuts on getting that cue ball on the bottom rail when you shot the five. So now let's see, what can he do? Well, if that six passes in the side, he's still got a chance. And what I would do here is if the six passed, I would cut the one in the side, go up for the three, come back down and shoot the three in the corner, then use the two to get to the back of the uh, 
of the six. Mm -hmm. So he's got to make this first off. Now this will tell me if the six will go by the yeah. ball on the side yep. or not. Yep. Otherwise, he's going to use the two and maybe get at the six right now. But if the six, once the three's removed, if the six goes, he'll just pinch this back a little bit, shoot the two on the side, and try and drop for that little area. Drop where the ten ball is. Right. May even run into the ten doing it. Yeah, he just tried to do that on the last shot. That's what he's looking at now. Do I have a corner play by the eight, or do I have some? Oh, he's looking at two rails at it right now off the two ball. You know what would be the worst is if he could catch that 12 and send. Uh, so then he's, he's, he's wanting to leave that three ball for insurance if he goes at this two railer. Well, if he goes at it, yeah, for sure. But it must either say he doesn't like getting on position on the six on that last ball or the six just isn't going to go well. in the side whenever mm -hmm. the three's gone. But then what was he playing for uh, when he tried to bump the 10? Well, the six would go in this lower right. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so he would have just shot the, the yeah, he would have ah, shot gotcha. the two from where he was. Instead of getting over here by the pocket where he got, he would have gotcha. been where the ten's at now. He could have gotcha. shot the two, got the one three, and then the six in the lower right. So then if he he could just be trying to move the ten ball here off the two. Yeah, but then he has to if he you do that clear. you have to get balls. a shot on the three to, to continue. Right? I thought about that mm -hmm. a second ago. Oh, all right, move the ten now. But if he didn't get a shot on the three, well what are you shooting at next? Nothing. So this is going to be two rails to the back of the 12 and the 6. You've got to catch it a little thinner or else you catch the 10. Well, you got nothing and maybe not even a cut shot on the 3. Uh, if he has a cut shot, he's got a bank uh, shot on the 3. Yeah, but can he get into the 12 again? <clears throat> can he, if, if he, I think the only way he can get it, because normally, right, when you bank this with high left, mm -hmm. you come two rails across the spot towards that side. It's like a three cushion mm -hmm. angle, right? Mm -hmm. So he may have to draw this one rail to the back of the six, like into it, like there, bam. Wow. Yeah. Like if he hits it with a high ball, unless he tries, no, he can't get. He can't the, cut that ball, can he? No, but he can't get it. He can't get the bank, right? If he hits this with a high ball, I don't think he gets at the 12. He's trying it. But I still think it goes by it. It goes right across the spot if he makes the three, I mean. Oh, look at that. He got right into it, but nothing. Another trick shot coming. Another two-railer? No. No, the 12's in the way, huh? Yep. Uh, and the 8's no, tied up, too. The 8's tied up as well. I Eight ball goes up in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, he's got a long rail bank this to the upper left, I think. He's got to cut back the bank, I think. That's what he looks like he's doing here. That's what he's reaching for. Off the 12. He's trying to spin this off the 12, but when you spin that ball, it usually doesn't carry off the ball as well. You mm -hmm. Usually with a straight up and down on the cue ball, it's a little more accurate, but... I think he's got a long rail bank. This is all he's got. To where he's standing? Yeah. It goes. It stiffens up, I believe. I'm trying to think of anything else uh, besides a kick. He keeps oh, he's playing that, that six 12, off yeah. the 12, yeah. Now, That's if he, if he's going to shoot it, he's got to shoot it hard with a high ball. Mm -hmm. If he spins it with right English, he's really trying to – I know he, that's the only part of the cue ball he's got maybe. That's why he's trying to dress it with right. But normally when you put right English on this and you're trying to make that cutback kiss shot, this will go right off the 12, right to the side rail normally. It just doesn't want to, like, have the friction on it. Mm -hmm. It goes through it a little bit more. So I'd be surprised if this goes – because he's almost got, all right, he's trying to get to the high part. You see, he's trying to get to the high part of the ball. He doesn't want to put so much right on it. Mm -hmm. He wants to naturally cut it. He wants to hit it almost full. Just a little below center.
We've got some good developments down here on the other tables. Orcolo has defeated Max Eberle. 8-4. Pagalion now leads to Luna 5-2. Mora leads Lou 7-5. Homan over Shuff 6-3. And Corey is still measuring this ball. What a key important shot this is. Yeah, this is winter side, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. So, want to hit this with a lot of speed and still got to get something on the eight if he does get this one down. He yeah. gave it a good go. Well, now it's a, it's up to Skyler. And he's got to make a bit of a shot on the first one. He's elevated on the nine. He's got to cut the fourteen, or the fifteen back to the upper left, even if it goes. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he played safe here. I know that sounds crazy. You don't want to play safe, but. I was kind of thinking that just uh, something just on the 12. Yeah, because they're missable, right? Yeah, I make mean, sure you leave the yeah. 10 ball in the way. And don't get me wrong, he's not supposed to miss the 15, but this is a different game. You have a choice uh, here. You can say to yourself, do I miss this more, or does he kick this ball in from a bad place? Well, he's going for it all the way. Oh, he just fired it, but he drew the cue ball. See that? He was trying to get safe. <laughs> Two way. Yeah. Uh, so yep. don't let Sky fool you and say, I was just betting the whole whole match on that he shot was, right there. He was two way in it. Yeah, now it'll come for the 11 in the side, then the 9, then the 12 last with the 8 in the side, most likely. Just stop your ball. May pinch it back a hair just so you can reach it a little better. Just that's why he's measuring that up, so he's not elevated and he can reach it. Well, he got himself jacked up a little bit. Doesn't seem to mind. And this to move on to play. F in tomorrow's hot seat match. Yeah, one heck of a match by both these guys. Uh, we'll be back here shortly with another winter side match. Uh, Tyler Steyer and uh, Jung Ling Chang. Yeah, Jung Ling Chang. Stay tuned. Straight, and I didn't want to get like here. Now I got exactly. 